The next most common cancer is testicular cancer, which is unfortunately a cancer that affects young men to the maximum degree. It is one of the most common cancers between the age of 20 to 40 years. Lance Armstrong, the famous cyclist, was also diagnosed with testicular cancer during his career when he was about 30 years of age. This usually presents as a painless lump or swelling in one side of the testicle. Very rarely, in less than 5% of cases, it may even affect both testicles. Investigations include blood tests called tumor markers which may help tell us what type of testicular cancer it is and imaging in the form of an ultrasound of the testicle as well as a CT scan to see if there's any spread in the chest or abdominal lymph nodes. Once the testicular mass is confirmed, we have to remove that testis and send it for a pathologic examination. This will tell us about the exact type of cancer because the entire treatment depends on what particular type it is. In the early stages, surveillance may be enough or a short course of chemotherapy. However, if the testicular cancer has spread, three to four cycles of chemotherapy are needed and sometimes a major surgery called a retroperitoneal lymph node dissection may be needed. Some of the rarer cancers in uro-oncology include penile cancer, this is quite common still in India, especially among the lower socioeconomic strata. It is often associated with human papilloma virus or HPV and it is also seen because of poor penile hygiene among certain men. They usually present with an ulcer or a lump or an inability to retract the foreskin under which there is a growth. The initial diagnosis and treatment depends on the biopsy of the lesion and further we do an ultrasound to check if it is spread to the inguinal lymph nodes as well as a CT scan or a PET scan to assess any further spread. The treatment is predominantly surgical and there are numerous options depending on the exact size and location of the disease. In advanced stages, again, chemotherapy may be needed. A cancer of the upper urinary tract, which involves the renal pelvis or the ureter, is another rare cancer seen in uro-oncology. It is often similar to that of the bladder cancer because the lining of the kidney, the ureter and the bladder are similar. Therefore, it also presents with sometimes blood in the urine or a painful swelling of that kidney because it is blocked by the tumor. The treatment again depends on the stage and it may be surgical or require chemotherapy. The final and probably most rare cancer of the lot is the cancer of the urethra which is the pipe which leads out of the bladder and through the penis and is responsible for discharging the urine outside. This cancer often presents in a very late stage and is associated usually with long-standing urethral strictures, which are narrowings of the urethra and these require multiple interventions and therefore the man is usually quite uh, you know immune to a lot of the symptoms and therefore they present late. It is usually very aggressive and the prognosis of this cancer is not very good. If you would like more detailed information I have made detailed videos on each of these cancers which are available at our YouTube channel as well as blogs on the website. If you found this video beneficial please like and share it with others and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.